happiness through curiosity on TRS Clips. Pardon my language, but yeah. what the f is going wrong with Pakistan? <laughs> like, <laughs> what's up? Like, economically speaking, I, everyone knows the geopolitical angles, ki the, uh, the, the military controls, everything in that country. The wrong guys are making the decisions at the top, and that's what's led to this Go over many years. I would say it's governance. Okay. Wrong policy again? Wrong policy that stems from governance. Eventually, see, po good policy is actually an outcome of good governance. Similarly, then, you know, bad policy is a outcome of bad governance. Which is an outcome of what? The wrong people being in power. So I would put, I would put it this way. When you have power without responsibility, that is a recipe for bad governance. When you're in a position of power for power, individualistic... But, no, I'm just saying actually you have power... But you don't have as much responsibility. For instance, you know, and this is, by the way, I'm not an expert on Pakistan. I'm just basically, you know, I've, I've, I've um, researched governance and especially corporate governance. And based on that, I'm, I'm, I'm speaking here that, you know, if, if let's say you have the power to make a lot of decisions, but you're not held accountable for the outcomes that come from those decisions, then you have power, but you don't have responsibility. And, you know, and, and that is a recipe for disaster. So because the military controls everything there, if there are wrong decisions, it's not really outcomes. No, they, so they end up making the decisions, but they're not held accountable for the outcomes that come out of it. Okay. And they'll probably never be held accountable. Maybe not. You know, um, I think some, some, some of the events that were happening in the last one year, at least there was an attempt to try, to try and make, the, make them more accountable. But I think that died a very quick death. Mm. Okay. Uh, you know, the obvious engineering logic here is if you can see that shit is going to hit the roof, why don't you prevent it a little earlier? It's because of self-interest. Okay. It's, you know, um, see, even self-interest and here, actually, I'll speak from a sort of a spiritual perspective, you know, um, self-interest can be elevated self-interest or can be naked self-interest. Um, when it's elevated self-interest, you know, you want to do good, let's say, for the country because you derive satisfaction out of doing good. Or maybe you want to actually leave a, a brilliant legacy, right? Uh, people remember you for, for, for the work that you did. That's elevated self-interest. Um, in contrast, you know, you just want to basically make a ton of money, whichever way it comes, you know, basically you're sort of taking, let's say, a, a, a taxpayer's money that's naked self-interest. Um, elevated self-interest, I think, you know, is, is leads to good governance and thereby to good policy. Naked self-interest, where you basically just, I me myself, kind of, you know, uh, you know, two hoods with everybody else, you know, I'll just basically self-aggrandize. Um, I think that leads to bad governance and then eventually to bad policy as well. If you enjoy this video, subscribe to TRS Clips for more.